Our opponents, well, they'd gone, I think, 18 games at home without losing 11 victories, and so that says a lot. In the first half, we waited for them to put us under pressure because that's one of their defining characteristics, but they didn't do that. They sat back. We weren't that fluent in the first half, but strangely enough, we had quite a lot of chances. I think we had three or four quite good ones. Nevertheless, on the counter, which is one of their great strong points, they scored. In the second half, we improved our positional play. We played a bit more football. We got more into their box, but fewer chances. And the game was decided by a set piece. We were waiting for the first corner on that side. We had lots of corners on the other side. And the first on the right-hand side. The training ground we set up by Juan Carlos was perfect. My players as well. That's key in this type of play. I think it's a dessert victory. And it means we have a reward for the effort put in by the team. It's an example. Given the objectives we have as a team, we need all our players. It doesn't matter where they start the game. For what we are looking for, we need the whole squad in their best form. Players can be decisive coming off the bench today, like Rafinha Renata today. Others can be decisive in the starting 11. I think it's a clear example of what this squad is about and the possibilities we have. Anyone who wants to put limiters, but it's not the case of the players, so I'm very happy with all the players and the test that we had to overcome and their performance. Our objective is to try and top the group. We're not counting or thinking about what's going to happen. The objective in the next game is to win the next game. And that's the way it will continue. What's true is that we can see how difficult it is to win here, how difficult it will be to win in Celtic, and it will be difficult to win in Celtic. And I imagine the others are thinking how difficult it's going to be to win a camp now.